Hello friends, welcome to my channel Vector Media. This is Follow Me. And in today's tutorial, we're going to see how to create an amazing thumbnail using Mobavi. Right? So it should be a lot of fun. So let's begin. This is how our Mobavi home screen looks like. So first things first, let us first drag a couple of pictures and videos which we would be using in order to make a beautiful thumbnail for our YouTube channel. So I'll go to file import and from there add files and then I will go to my respective folder. Okay, so I have two clips here. First thing is we will, be, uh, we will have to bring the videos to the timeline, right? So I'll just drag and drop it here. Now in the second step, we will have to just scale it a little bit so that we can see our um, gestures accordingly and if we don't need these audio then we can simply delete it right so now we can just drag this the marker and we can bring it to a right place where we feel we can use that clip as our thumbnail so I have got that that moment so this one I can use for my thumbnail so the next step is to right click and insert a freeze frame so now you see this frame has been inserted right so next is you can remove rest of the part now what I'll have to do is I will have to go to this all tools option for icon from here, I can go for the go to this drop down where it is written video editing, and from there I can go to color adjustments, or else I can directly come to it, come here and I can use color adjust. Now here there are uh, many easy color adjustments are already given where you can just plug and play, you can just bring that on your shot, and you will get a beautiful effect. Like if I go for this um, vintage look. I just drag and drop it here. You see this kind of uh, vintage look, it will automatically create. And if I don't want that, I just need to click on this star and remove this, cross it from here. Right? So if you are not satisfied to, from these um, easy to do options, then you are having second option, which is advanced option. I personally prefer to go for advanced option because it gives me more control over whatever editing or color adjustments I want to do. So here I will just increase the saturation a little bit because and a contrast a little low. You can also change it from here. I think minus 5 would be good for me and I can just increase the brightness a little bit not much just five and there we go i'm okay with this color adjustments you can do as you want you can change the temperature you can change shadow there are many other options so you can play around and you can actually change these ratios in order to get the desired color effect so i'm okay with this so i head over to my next part my next part is crop and rotate if i want this part to be here this side then i will have to crop it from here but i want this side to be there in my photo so i will just crop it from this side apply so this is how my photo is looking like now my next step is going to overlay now in overlay i have different option where i can situate my photograph in the frame so i can go for picture to picture which will make my photo look like this but i use this slide by right option or slide by left option right once i'm done with it then i'll go to this plus icon the first icon and i'll go to background and from here i would be choosing one beautiful background I prefer this one so I'll just put the background above this and I will make it above um, my photo and I will just click on this and again go to overlay and I will go to right side 
so i will align into the right side okay and this is how my picture is looking like now i'll again go to picture and i will just slide it a little bit so that this is merging properly okay it, it should match properly now i will be using some beautiful texts here so i will go to this text icon and i preferably take a simple text which i'll be dragging and dropping through the text um, timeline and i'll put it here and i will change the text from this part uh, clip editing part i can write and I can choose any suitable font from here. So stencil is looking good. So I'll go for this. And then I can change the size by clicking over here. I can make it 120. And then I can change the color. As because this background is green. So let me take a dark green color. And then I can go for making it bold. And then I can give it a background as well if you want or else you can go for outline and give it a beautiful outline and you can choose any color you want so i will be using something of this fluorescent uh, shape you can also get some other color by clicking on this plus icon and you can choose any color you want right so if i want some better fluorescent effect i can go for this and I can choose one and then you can uh, change the opacity as well if you want it to be reduced or increased you can do it for me 100% working well so I will keep that and then I can change the the lines as well like how thick the line should be the outline should be that also you can adjust from this options so I am done with the first part so I can add a couple of more uh, texts here right so um, so this is how um, my thumbnail should look so I'm happy with it now I will just apply now once I'm done with it once I'm done with it I will go to this sticker options and I'll get many stickers I can um, I can use one here Next is changing the ratio. Well, for YouTube thumbnail, the ratio which goes best is either 1920 into 1080, that is one ratio, otherwise 1280 into 720. So either of these can work well for your YouTube thumbnail. So I'll have to go to this drop down here and I'll have to, instead of 16 is to 9, this is the ideal, uh, this is the default uh, setting which can move away picks by default. So you'll have to come all the way down to X is to Y and you'll have to, this is 1920 is to 1080. You can either keep this, otherwise you can change it to 1280 is to 720. See, it automatically takes it. Okay, and you can do, okay. So either of these two will work well as your youtube thumbnail so i'm uh, okay with this thumbnail once i'm done then i'll have to download it how do i do that i'll have to go to this camera icon here and click here as soon as i click here it will be let this screenshot to be saved so my thumbnail will be saved so let us see how our thumbnail is looking like finally i can go to this three button three uh, dots and i can unpick the unpin the player and this is how my thumbnail will look right so this is one way where from a video clip you can freeze a frame and then you can change the ratio or crop the particular frame and then you can add a background or a half and half you can use the frame or for your image in the half of your video uh, your thumbnail part and another half you can use for text right so this is one way now let us delete all this and i will show you the second way how you can do uh, the same thing uh, with a complete background removed so for that 
what all i need to uh, do is i have to go to mundia ben if you have shot your video in green background then first you have to add you have to go to this plus icon and add a video track here right so i already had one track so i i would be using these two tracks now first thing is you have to go to background you can add your own background as well so so i am using one preset background again from here i'm just using this white background okay so i will keep this background at the bottom and then i will go to media wheel and i will bring my original video here so i will just uh, delete this and i will again same way i will just find out the exact moment where i want my video to be freezed so freeze right so first is i will have to right click here and insert the freeze frame okay so i got my freeze frame here so what i'll do is i will just bring this part here and i will delete this as well so i have got my frozen frame now i will have to go to this uh, all tools once again and i'll have to go to chroma key either from video editing drop down or else i can get the same options here as well this chroma key option right i will as soon as i click on chroma key my cursor will take um, the um, color picker's shape so i'll have to just pick the color which i want to be removed so see how magically it removed the green background and i am uh, having only the picture left here right so once i'm done with it once i'm done with it then i'll go to overlay okay and you just select the picture of yours and you can select it right wise or left wise as i was showing in the previous video in this case since i am uh, using a picture which is indicating this way uh, right side so i would i would be checking the right side of the thumbnail right so once i'm done with it this is how my um, picture is looking like here i'm okay with this picture if i need to crop it then again same way i'll have to go to crop and i can basically crop it from the bottom if i want from sides as well okay and then apply right in this case this will become my pet picture now after this once this is done i will simply go to the text icon and i will take a couple of text bars here okay so i will write in the same way i have changed it and then i will grab a couple of more text you when you are grabbing the text and dragging it to the timeline make sure that this plus icon appears unless and until that appears don't leave it there so i will again double click on the text bar and i will change it i'm done it is simple and i can also add one sticker if i want to just drag it to here so make sure everything is dragged till the end right so once i'm satisfied with the thumbnail i will go to this ratio once again you can change the ratio or here i'm keeping it 1280 uh, is to 720 only and then same way i will just take a snap of this and save it same way in my uh, folder right so this is the second way how we can edit uh, we can create a particular thumbnail uh directly by removing the complete background provided we have shot in green background in front of green background right this was the second way now i'm going to show you a third way in order to show you the third way i will have to head over to another website which is called i will i'm in my chrome browser i have typed bg remove and this is the software um which allows me to remove any still pictures background um for free so what i'll do is i will go to this upload image and i will grab one of my still pictures where i will be directly removing the background okay 
open it will directly remove the background of the still picture yeah so uh, but see the globe a part of the globe is remaining here so if i need to remove that i'll go to this edit button and i'll go to this erase erase option erase and restore and you see as soon as i, I uh, selected this my cursor has become a brush so i will carefully remove this be very careful Okay, now you see half of my hair is gone, so I will go to restore and I will just restore it once again. And then again I come to here. I will reduce this brush of brush size and then I will just slowly remove this part. Okay, so once I'm done, then I have to download it. Okay, download the image. Then I'll open it. And I'll go to my mobile screen and I'll go to file import and directly drag and drop it. Sure. Okay. So I've got my picture without any background. Right. So once I'm done, I, let me just delete all this. I don't need it. So I'll select all together and just click on delete. Okay. So first thing, thing is I'll have to grab a beautiful background. So let me take this background here. And then I'll go to media bin and I'll drop my picture here. Okay. Then I'll go to overlay and I will check right hand side overlay. Okay. So see, I have reduced my work um, to a great extent just by removing a still pictures background using a software and uh, just dragging a background here. I'm almost 90% done with my thumbnail it's as simple as that once you're done with this part again same um, text uh, we will have to bring so i'm just pausing the video and i'm going to show you the final thumbnail yeah instead of repeatedly coming to the uh, text going to the text and bringing another text instead of that you can just click the text and duplicate it okay then just select it and just drag it down here then you can get that way you can get the same font same style you just need to reduce the size and do the required modification i will change the color i am done with it right so um, this is how i how easily you can make you can create a thumbnail and this process has actually minimized a lot of effort which we were, we were doing uh, when we were taking a clip from our video and then you just need to take same way save it in your uh, desktop so this is how you can make a uh, create beautiful thumbnail using uh, Mubavi on Mubavi complete tutorial complete uh, interface I have created another tutorial which link you will be getting in the top right hand side corner of this video in info i button in today's After tutorial that, i'm going to show you step by step how you can edit your videos and give it a professional effect by using movavi so make sure after watching this video you go and watch my that tutorial which will give you a lot better insight uh, having said that if you are watching me in youtube Please do consider to press the subscription button below if you haven't yet. And please do give me a big thumbs up. Before I leave, I just want to mention one small thing that I have created a beautiful WhatsApp group, uh, which link you'll be getting in description box below. So make sure you uh, join in that group so that you get all those intimations about my uh, upcoming videos and live sessions or workshops uh, and you can join there for free so thank you so very much for being here with me today i will come back with some fun video next week till then stay safe stay interested.